Hi students, I will try in this educational video to technologically introduce the storage tank, the industrial storage tank, of course, as simply and as clearly as possible. Okay, let's go. First of all, it should be remembered that uh, the tank or tanks are widely used uh, in um, storage industrial applications such as the storage of water, steam, fuel, gas, compressed air, etc. The pictures that you see in this slide present uh, some real and uh, numerical uh, and also numerical prototype of industrial storage tanks. These uh, industrial storage tanks will work under certain operating conditions uh, mainly expressed in terms of uh, pressure and temperature and we will deeply explain this in the next videos well the storage tank can be simply seen as a combination between some principal elements these elements are the shell the formed heads here the shell and here the formed heads and we have also the nozzles uh, which can be carried out in terms of manhole or inlet uh, and uh, outlet or even a drain and also we have two saddle supports one is fixed and the other is sliding now it's to note that uh, some principal shapes are distinguished for the formed heads and as you can see uh, we can uh, distinguish the ellipsoidal head the torispherical head the hemispherical head, the conical head, and the toriconical uh, head. Now for the nozzle, uh, it's to note that it's constituted of uh, some uh, main elements. The first one, of course, is the opening on which the nozzle will be carried out. This opening can be uh, carried out on a shell or on uh, a formed head. And we have here the nozzle neck as i as i said it's uh, carried out on the opening and we have the flanges and uh, in some case for reasons of uh, resistance uh, we have to add a reinforcement plate in the neighborhood of the opening of the nozzle for the flanges we have uh, some principal shape and as you can see in this slide we have uh, some shapes or some types of uh, flanges and uh, these types are extracted from the European standard 1092-1 uh, flanges and for example the type 01 is called uh, plate flanges for welding and uh, the type 04 in 34 is called loose plate flanges with weld neck color now we have to say that in addition to the principal elements that constitute the storage tank we have also some principal accessories that can be installed in the storage tank we have for example the pressure gauge uh, which of course will measure the pressure of the fluid inside the storage tank we have also the thermometer which uh, will measure obviously the temperature of the fluid inside the storage tank we have also a safety relief valve which can be called also as pressure safety valve uh, when uh, the pressure inside the storage tank is too high the safety relief valve will work and we have a shut off valve and here the manhole and the water drain can be considered as uh, principal uh, accessories or also uh, it can be considered as uh, elements or principal elements of the storage tank. Finally, it's to note that the rules governing the sizing of the different elements that constitute a storage tank, such as uh, the shell, the formed head, the nozzles, are provided by uh, certain calculation code. For example, uh, the ASME, to say American Society of Mechanical Engineers, or the French code, uh, CODAP, uh, which means in French, Code de Construction des Appareils à Pression Non Soumis à l'Action de la Flamme, in English, 
uh, code of construction of pressure vessels not subjected to the fire and we have also the API to say American Petroleum Institute in the case of uh, tanks storing fuel and we will handle the storage tank sizing in depth in next videos well it's all for this educational uh, video thank you very much for your attention and uh, please if you have any remarks or suggestions please mention it in the comments thank you